It's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guy. Today's beer is a beer from Founders. It's a bottle of their breakfast stout, double chocolate coffee oatmeal stout, coming in at 8.3% ABV. There's the label. There's the bottle cap. This is my first Founders beer. Really looking forward to it. This was a trade, the trade of beer in America. Turn it open into a glass. See what we get. So a little bit more there. Okay, be it in the glass is a small one finger head. It's very very black to look at. No light coming in there whatsoever. It's a tan coloured chocolate kind of tan head. Dissipated quite quickly. But the lacing, well, the, the carbonation, not the lacing, looks great. It's kind of climbing the glass, nice small bubbles. Let's get a nose on this double chocolate coffee oatmeal stout. Sounds divine. It smells like a really nice imperial stout. With loads and loads of roasted coffee. Hint of bitter dark chocolate, and it smells with you. You can almost smell the kind of mouthfeel. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but you can smell the mouthfeel. It's going to be one of them thick, creamy, oaty type beers. So I'm going to dig into this one. Cheers, everyone. Oh yeah. That is really good. That's a good beer. Stone the Crows. Wow. Wow, really bitter on the back end. Loads of that hoppy bitterness as well in it. It's, it's bitter dark chocolate, bitter coffee. All coming from that roasted malt. Deeply, deeply kind of roasty, toasty beer. Mmm. Mouthfeel is thick and creamy. It's the first thing you get is a wonderful creamy mouthfeel. Laces your palate, leaves a little bit of stickiness on the lips. Mmm. Pure luxury, pure luxury. Here comes the bitterness, it kind of ramps up and it keeps building, it keeps building. But it's not an unpleasant bitterness. I've had a few kind of beers lately they've been a bit kind of just bitter with no flavour just bitterness but this is cappuccino chocolate Belgian chocolate I'd say um, oats the, the caramel's fantastic the chocolate coffee I just keep saying it it's, it's a wonderful beer let's concentrate a little bit on the carbonation then It's a carbonated beer in that it's not obviously like a fizzy gassy kind of lager. It's slightly, it kind of ever so slightly zings on the tongue, the carbonation. But I want another nose. Let's really release some of these big aromas in this beer. And it's a nice hoppy. You really do get a sense of the hops with the nose. And, and again, obviously coffee and chocolate, cappuccino. Okay. I can't stop tasting this. I was going to put the bottle, the beer down and grab the bottle and give it a bit of a read. Um, Malt beverage brewed with chocolate and coffee. Oh, it's brewed with chocolate and coffee. There we are, it's added. Okay. Founders Brewing Company, Grand Rapids. Yeah, MI is at Miami. 
Michigan, I'm not really sure, 60 IBUs, nice IBU on this one, as I said it's 8.3% ABV, there's not an awful lot left on there. Um, right, I'm going to give my final thoughts and a rating in on Founders Breakfast Stout. Heard a lot about it, um, always wanted to try it, it's not let me down at all, uh, it's absolutely fantastic, I can really see why people have advised me to, to review this beer. Uh, top beer. I'm going to finish this one off and give it a rating. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic beer. It's just so well rounded, so well balanced. Loads and loads of luxury kind of... It's, it's almost like you're, you're your best coffee with your best chocolate or your favourite chocolate, your favourite coffee whether it be cappuccino or, or a mocha or something it's all kind of blended into one uh, with it being a beer it just makes it even better 8.3% ABV the alcohol, you don't pick up any of the alcohol whatsoever um, one of the nicest stouts I Imperial Stouts I've ever tried I'd say. I can call it an imperial stout, it's imperial strength um, whether you want to call it that or not, I, I probably call it that myself but rating wise I'm gonna give this I gotta give this a 10 out of 10, it's a 10 out of 10 beer from the Real Ale Guide thanks for watching me, put your comments in the comments box please subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers